Hello, this is Kevin from Crypto MY. In today's episode, I want to talk about something that you should take note this week. As you can see, Bitcoin has been uh, dipping, dripping, and dropping and falling. And is it the end of the bull market? Let's find out in this episode. Before I start, I want to wish those uh, Malay happy Hari Raya to them. And as you can see, this ad is sponsored by Hope Big Global. You can stand a chance to win away a Nintendo Switch. Okay, this contest is start from 10 May to 24 May. What you need to do is join the Hope Big Telegram, the Twitter and the Facebook, and then retweet the campaign post with the hashtag of Hope Big Malaysia and Hope Big Global. All these are the steps. If you guys want to know further more about this contest, I will put down at the description below. You guys can go and read it and you guys can join the contest if you are interested. Okay, okay let's find out the coins that have high potential to grow this week. Let's start off with uh, Bitcoin versus US dollar. Uh, today I'll be using uh, OP Global Exchange Platform. If you don't have the account yet in OP Global, I'll put down the link in the description below. So you guys can click the link directly and do the registration. So once you've done the registration, you will get into here and let's start off with this Bitcoin versus US dollar. So what happened to Bitcoin versus US dollar right now? If you look at four hour chart, uh, let's look at day one chart first. It's quite bad right now, but it hasn't breaks below the support area. So the support area is falls around this area, which is uh, around 47,000 to uh, 43,000 mark around this area. So right now it's sitting at around 50,000 mark. It's trying to recover, it's trying to pull back upwards. So right now we cannot indicate whether is it a confirmed downtrend or not based on day one. Okay, if you look at the H4, for our chart, here has the reversal candlestick right here. And right now it's trying to recover upwards. So why support area here is because it has been touched one, two and three times. So there is a line here and that is a very strong support area right here. So what you need to monitor is if Bitcoin can recover back up later in the evening, all the altcoins will follow to recover. Okay, right now, as you can see, I think most of the uh, altcoins are now uh, as far as bad as a Bitcoin. But do not worry, it's not a downtrend yet. Uh, it still falls around this support zone. It's not yet breakthrough yet. So it's still uh, considered as a... I believe that it will do the consolidation movement around this area first. And then it only decide whether it will go up or goes down later. As you can see here, the RSI is showing oversold and it's a good thing why? Because usually when it touches the oversold or the overbought area, usually you will see a very very quick pullback from downwards to upwards if it's oversold. But if it's overbought, it will be opposite whereby you will see the pullback from upwards to downwards. So uh, I'm waiting for this pullback, uh, which is this recovery. Hopefully it will be uh, recovered back up soon. And let's just take a look at the coins that might have potential to grow this week. Let's look at Cardano versus US dollar right now. As you can see, Cardano is still a very strong uptrend. The moving average is still below and the candlestick are still above. And let's say if you pull the Fibonacci retracement from here to here, you can see that the 0.618 and the 0.786 line is right above here only. So what happens if, if the candlestick managed to close above this 0.786 line, I believe that it will try to reach out this area first, which is the $1.83. And if it managed to break through this resistance zone, it will have high possibilities to reach this $2 mark. And why I say 
Cardano is a very strong uptrend is because if you look at day one chart, it is showing a very strong uh, bull trend where it stays right above here for quite some time already. It has been like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost a week here. And it is a good indication that it is a very, very strong uptrend because there are a lot of people are buying back at this area. So likely here will bounce back up and hopefully it could reach the $2 this week or next week. Okay, how can I support this data? Okay, if you look at the Cardano versus Bitcoin, you can see the uh, massive breakthrough from the Cardano versus Bitcoin whereby it already managed to break above the resistance line. Okay, this resistance line has been here for quite some time. It has been trying to break through for like one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. And now, right now, it's already managed to break through, but haven't closed yet. If tomorrow Cardano managed to break above and close above this line, it will have high potential that it will search up even higher. So when it search up even higher, me meaning that Cardano hikes faster than the Bitcoin. So you will see that it's a very, very strong upwards uh, towards the Cardano price value. And it's a good thing for Cardano too. Because if you look at the H4 chart, it is quite similar also, whereby it is already managed to break above. As you can see here that this is a ascending triangle and it managed to break above so right now i believe that it might just do the uh, minor correction right below here and if it doesn't break below and it does a strong pullback from this support area you might see cardano surging up very very fast later on that is the first thing that you need to take note okay so the second data that can prove that can search up this week or soon which is the Cardano versus Ethereum whereby you see a similar move which is a descending triangle and right now it managed to break above the descending triangle on the H4 chart so right now the tick profit area should be around this area 0 0.00494 and let's say if it does you might also see Cardano surging up very, very quickly. So Cardano versus US dollar might have the potential to pull up $2 is because of these two reasons. And furthermore, if you look at the day one chart right now, it's also quite beautiful whereby it already break above, but it hasn't closed above yet. So you can see here is the uh, reversal candlestick. So uh, I couldn't make for tomorrow. If tomorrow really uh, it managed to close above the resistance line, which is the ascending triangle, the descending triangle against the uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, most likely Cardano could reach $2 easily this week. Okay. So uh, I think that's all for today's episode. If you like my episode today, remember to click like, share and subscribe. I will see you guys soon and bye-bye.